it's Star of Thrifter, and um, <clears throat> I have some high-end brands to share with you today that I thrifted over the weekend, this last weekend. If you've not watched any of my other videos before, full-time um, reseller on eBay, and um, I've been selling on eBay for quite a few years, and then um, on Posh just the last few years. Anyhow, if you'd like to subscribe, I got a lot of other videos up, too, of um, ship with me videos and you know what sold and a lot of other thrift haul videos and also how to increase sales and things like that anyhow at this store a lady came oh did I grab one okay good great a lady must have donated some she like donated a whole bunch of stuff and uh this was one of the pieces and um I don't know if this one's new with tags some of them were still brand new with tags this is a uh, Wilford Free, and Wilford Free is a very nice brand. It is high end, and um, it doesn't sell real quickly, but it does. Some pieces sell for you know quite a little bit of money. Um, it's this has got like a little tie top, and they actually had them um, <clears throat> hanging uh, separate at their uh, thrift shop. And I said, you know, these pretty much you know must go together, and they're like the exact same color. <laughs> Anyhow, it's a, and this is the dress, and. Um, got kind of wrinkled up but it's got like a drop neck it's beautiful this is a very very nice piece um this is uh this is brand new with tags and the original price on this um was a hundred and um let's see here looks like 128 dollars and uh i don't know on this what it will sell for it is brand new with tags i will price it up there a little bit um you know maybe like It'd be great to maybe get like $79 for it. But, you know, even if it sold for $50, this would be a great price. Um, I got this uh, piece half off. And that means I paid probably right around $3.50 for it. This would be a really great return on investment. Even though this is a high-end brand thrift haul, just remember that as a clothing seller, a large majority of your um, sales, a lot of times, is going to be your bread and butter brands where you're maybe making $10, $15 a sale. And that's okay because I'll tell you what, some of the really big, and I mean the big, clothing sellers, that's a lot of what they list. Because think about it. It may take a while to find a buyer that will spend $75 on a brand new dress as opposed to somebody buying a top for $10 or $15. Those sales really add up and they make up for a lot of your sales. Now, some high-end stuff's going to go quicker if it's something very trendy and popular, too. But that's just something to remember. This is um, Bantamum. And, um, oh, I apologize. I didn't show the tag on the Wilford Free. The Wilford part is hard to see because it's kind of like a white on white. Um or beige on beige, uh, but it's, that's Wilford Free, and this was, you know, the one that was brand new with tags. Um, this is um, Bannerman. I might not be pronouncing that correctly, but this is a really um, nice brand. It is more of a high-end brand, and she donated a few pieces, and this is brand new with tags, and this was, um, this was $128, and it's a beautiful top. And I kind of put the string up there because I didn't want, it's like a wrap, it's a false wrap. Or no, I guess it's not even a wrap. I guess it just kind of ties across here. I didn't want uh, that to be dragging at all. And uh, I don't know comps on this. And I, things do go uh, for a fraction of the retail price when they're brand new on eBay. But remember, the stores a lot of times sell them cheaper than that too. With this being more of a high-end brand, it's going to depend on how much I want to hold out for the more, um, you know, higher price on it. You know, or if you want to take a lesser price, I would say this piece hopefully would sell between 50 and maybe $75. That's like a guess on that. I think, and I don't know, but I think the lady that donated that, because she also donated a dress that was, um, it had a price tag on it, still brand new with tags, and the girls at the thrift shop that worked there said it was like almost $2,000, and I didn't come across that one. They said they took it in the rear to price it or whatever, but I didn't, I don't know if they put it on the floor, but I didn't come across it, and she didn't know what brand it was. That would have been interesting. But I wonder if the same lady donated some of maybe her husband's shirts because Etten, there was two of them, and this is a great brand. This brand, usually I get, um, probably depends on the piece, but I just sold one recently for like $50. And um, these I would have got half off. I would have paid like, um, I think they're $5.99, uh, 3 or $4. But if you've not seen the brand before, that is it there. 
And this is a men's brand. It's um, E-T-O-N. And it's a really great brand to pick up. And there's two of them. And um, like I said, 50, it could be up depending maybe on the style. This is the other piece. And this is a, a much more dressier shirt. I noticed that there was a slight discoloring on the collar part. I will note that. And um, anyways, but it's a beautiful piece. And I don't know what this being a little bit more. I don't know if this would be considered a tux um, shirt because, see, it does have, it actually has like a black stripe to it. Um, I'll have to research that a little bit to see if it's just the regular price or if it could go for a little bit more money. But that's a really great piece. And if you see that brand, that's a great brand. And I, you don't come across it that often. It's not like one, you know, that you come across that often. And men's. There's another one, too, that's excellent if you ever see. I think it's C.C. Wills Filson. That's a really great brand. There's another one, too. It's Giggler and something in Giggler or Giggler and something else. And that's a really high-end brand. And you don't come across them that often. This is an Elaine Fisher. It's not extremely high-end, but it is a nice piece. And Elaine Fisher, some of the pieces can sell for quite a bit of money. Especially the sweaters if you get into, like, the wool alpaca or the cashmere. Now, this is just, like, a blue long sleeve top. Um... <clears throat> I don't think this, no, I think these, yeah, this, this might have been donated by her. I don't know, because it came in at the same time. It has a blue tag on it. I got a half off and, um, you know, probably around like two fit. Let's see if they're like five, five. I can't remember if they're five ninety nine. I think for long sleeve, you know, on $3, but I don't know. Some pieces don't sell for a lot. Elaine Fisher can kind of sit for a while. It is a little bit more of a mature brand, um, but you know, 20 25 30 maybe something like that another elaine fisher hang on we got some other really high-end stuff i don't know if she donated this one but this is a very nice piece and uh this one here is a um it's a 1x and that's excellent to find a plus size in a more name brand and this is a beautiful carnegie sweater it's actually kind of like a purplish color and um, i was just going to check out to see what it was made out of because the material is kind of cool on it um Oh, I don't know. It's a cotton blend, but um, I thought it felt like linen almost, but I can't, I don't have my glasses. No, it's, I think it's nylon cotton, but it's a very pretty piece. And this could sell between 20 and $40 on eBay. I do charge for shipping for everything that will be additional. And uh, leave in the comments, whether you do free shipping or if you charge for shipping and how that works out for you, I'd appreciate it. And if you could push the thumbs up, that would be great too. Here's another piece that she donated, and this is another Wilfred. It's not Wilfred Free, that's Wilfred. You know, that's two different parts of their line. And this one doesn't have um, how much it was brand new. It doesn't have the um, price um, tag on it. But this is a tank, and um, this is very pretty. It's like almost a green, and it's got some other color in it. It's like a drop. Isn't that beautiful? This would be very beautiful for a night out um, for the evening, but that's Wilfred. And that's brand new with tags. And with it being a tank top, I don't know. And new with tags, I'll have to do comps on that, really. I'm really not sure on the price on that. Here's another piece that she, I think that she um, donated. And it's um, Babaton. And this is brand new with tags. Let's see if this is up. This one doesn't have the, oh, this was like $58. Uh, but it's kind of like a little, it's really cute. It's a little um, sweetheart. If you're not familiar with that, when it's, you know, like that, it can be called a sweetheart, you know, neckline. I guess you could say V-neck too, but it's real thick. And it's, um, it's like, I will put, you know, sleeveless, cami. I also put tube top because it's kind of like a tube top. But brand new with tags. And it's Babaton. And like I said, on these pieces here, I don't know for sure what the price is going to be on these because um, with them being, you know, sleeveless or a tank top. The other one, I'll use the word cami also on there um, because, um, and I'll put sleeveless blouse or whatever. And that one, actually, I don't have my glasses with me, but this one actually is very soft. I can't tell, but it almost feels, it feels like a silk material, but I don't know if it is. Um, I'll have to wait. I don't think it is, but it feels like that. Um, this one here, um, oh, this is a really cool dress. This is one of hers and it's high end, real high end. Um, this is just as Alice and Olivia. And I don't know if she uh, donated this, but it's just a basic, it's a pea plum black. I don't know if pea plum style is still very popular, but it's a very nice basic piece. I picked it up because, you know, Alice and Olivia, some of the pieces can sell. 
um, you know, it probably depends. Um, I haven't priced one of these lately. I don't know the comps on that one. This is a really cool dress. And this was one of hers. And this is high end. And I already looked this one up on eBay. And uh, with this being brand new with tags, it could sell between $100 and $300. And it's beautiful. It is actually like a maxi. And it's all, you know, wretched. The sides, you know, it's got like the wretched to it. And um, actually, it might not be a maxi. It might be... A, it looks like a, a maxi. Um, but anyways, um, in it, you know, I'll put the usual word like body con and things like that. I don't know how this is pronounced. And it's like, and it is two words. It's Norma and then Kamali or something like that. This is what their tag looks like. I'll show you that first in case you come across it at the thrift store where it's not brand new with tags. This is a high-end brand. Some pieces sell for more. And some of the other dresses, I think, went for more than that. I don't know. Um, but anyways, um, this... I don't know if this has on, this doesn't have how much it was brand new when they bought it. Uh, but this is um, also how, you know, the word is wrote. It might be a little easier to see it that way. But I paid, I think their dresses are $7.99 and I got half off on that. Like $4. Be able to flip this for like $100 to $300. That's a really great return on investment. This one, it's neat. I had even had a hanger that kind of matched it. I had it on two hangers because I don't want it to, you know, touch the ground at all. And uh, anyways, um, and I didn't want to put it through the neckline, you know, how because I didn't want it to pull like on the neckline. But I just kind of draped it on two hangers. Um, this next item I thought was one of hers too, and I thought it might be a, um, you know, like a home run. But I looked it up and it's not. But it is a cool little dress. And it's called... I R O jeans and this is a maxi and this actually is really cute. It's like kind of spotted, you know, and um, it, on the very bottom, it, I don't know if they put it there or if it's supposed to be there, but it's got, you know, it's got a little like a little tie knot on the bottom. But this is the brand. I thought maybe this was high end because one of the ways you can tell high end too is that they only tack the sides and this is only tacked on the sides. However, it's all the way down. Sometimes they'll just do the four corners, but that isn't always the rule because some of the cheap brands that are doing that too now, like the really cheap brands from China, you got to watch it. But I thought maybe this was one, and I didn't look it up at the store. And uh, but um, this only will sell maybe for like twenty dollars or something like that. So that was kind of a bummer. But still, I got all those other pieces. And I'm very grateful. I got some really great pieces to sell. Um, this one I did put it through there because it's kind of more of a t-shirt material. This isn't high end, but this will sell. This is beautiful. It's brand new with tags. And um, I don't know. I don't think she donated this. It's got a different color tag. This was, um, it looks like around $58, $59 brand new. It's Lauren Ralph Lauren. I don't pick up Lauren, all Lauren Ralph Lauren, but I'll tell you what. If you come across one that is a button up and it's paisley and it's got a lot of bright colors in it, those always sell. They always sell quite quickly, it seems like. And that's a good, great piece to pick up. But... Brand new with tags. Yeah, you believe I'm going to pick it up. And I think I got this for like $2. I don't know how much it'll sell. That's what I mean, though. Of course, the store might have sold it cheaper than $58. But you probably won't even get half. This will sell between, I bet you, $20 or $25. Maybe $30. I'll list it higher first. And then I do run sales and I do send offers to likers. You know, eBay has that where sometimes they'll allow us to send it on some listings. You know, but this is a really cute little uh, t-shirt and it's a large, it's really, it's really quite soft. But anyways, you know, and it may take a little less than that, but that's the thrift haul for today. I just had, I wanted to do these high end ones before I started listing them. I'll tell you what, my sales have really increased a lot. I'm very grateful. And I'll be starting a series, and I want to start it this week on my journey to $1 million. And if you subscribe, then you'll get notifications when I upload more um, new videos. But I've been studying for quite a while, and I've learned some things along the way, and I learn new things all the time. And it would be really great if you want to uh, go on that journey and, uh, you know, get some of the tips on how to, you know, what our tips to like increase your sales and things like that. Um, I'll tell you one of the biggest things, and I say it all the time, list, list, list. The more you list every day, 
the more sales you have every day. But it has to be consistent. It has to be every single day. Every single day for months. I just noticed this is very crooked. <laughs> it's bothering me. But anyways, um, I, got, I got a new backdrop, though. It'll be really cool once I get it put up. And um, it has dresses on it. It's really pretty. Really, you know, frilly, girly. But anyways, um, in regards to um, the sales, for quite a long time there, I was listing like 10 or 15 every single day and 15 for a really long time. And I would notice I'd get about seven sales a day on a regular basis. Some days a little more, some a little less, but basic, it was around that. Um, it was about half of what you list. And uh, I kind of still kind of base it on that. It's supposed to come up equal eventually like if you list 15 you sell 15 a day but they say that takes quite a long time and I don't know when but recently I upped how much I list to 20 listings a day I was going to do 20 I went to do 25 or 30 but one there's a couple issues with that one it's a lot of work and that's a big adjustment Two, having enough inventory for seven days a week that many pieces and three uh space for storage and i've been working on my storage space i'm also going to watch what i thrift um i'll pick it up if i find something real spectacular but i'm not going to pick up a lot of sweaters anymore they take up a lot of room and i'm uh, not trying to talk you away from sweaters but you know the other pieces take up a lot less room but anyhow once i moved to 20 a day and it hasn't been that long my sales have really increased i mean they really have and but you have to list the same amount every single day seven days a week if you don't want to work weekends or ha if you want days off what you do is you do those listings and you save them in your drafts and then on those days that you're not working then you can go ahead and post them for that day and uh, but it I, ha I don't have any saved up right now I had two the other day but I used them the other night um, because 20 a day you know it takes a little bit of time and if you're new to this that sound, may sound like a lot to list every day and if you've been doing it for a while maybe that doesn't sound like very many to list every day but i'll tell you if you are new and you're not used to listing that many a day it does get easier when i first started doing it i thought 10 a day was a lot i really did and it was like it just seemed like that was a lot i was like how are these people doing 20 30 50 more a day you know but you build up to it. They recommend kind of slowly building up to it and then staying at the same amount for a while and then moving up and scaling up. And at first I thought, nah, hell no, just go for it. I think there is something to that about kind of slowly scaling up. I went from 15 to 20 and I can really do 20 pretty great now. And, um, and you, you get a system down and it gets quicker. I do highly recommend that uh, you do your templates on eBay, you know, like for short sleeve shirts, you can fill in a lot of those specifications, especially the extra ones that are going to pretty much remain the same for a lot of those. And maybe you'll have a separate one for active wear or, you know, things like that, where you can fill in a lot of that stuff. And that does save some time. However, it's the longest time I swear it seems like on the computer. However, lately that's been getting quicker. It just seems like I can fly through it quicker on that, you know, and, um, but, um, and for a while there, it seemed like the photo part and writing down all the measurements and, and putting it away and, you know, inventory seemed like it took a long time. Some days it seems like I zipped right through that. Other days it seems like it really drags, you know, especially if you get some, and I've had some lately, you get all photo, you get all the measurements, everything wrote down, all the information you start photographing or you've already photographed, you get ready to fold it. And then you find an issue, a flaw, or you find a stain or a hole, and then you're like, I can't list this. You know, if it's something minute, I'll just list it and, it, you know, put it in the, in the um, condition, and especially if it's a, a really nice piece or high end. But a lot of them, it's like, oh, you just waste all that time. There's nothing you can do, and you just have to toss it and not list it. But anyways, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe if you want to check out. I've learned a lot of things along the way, little key things, you know. And that way you can also, you know, see how it goes along. I got to get my grand total of what I've made on eBay. And it used to be very accessible. I could find it. I've looked twice now and can't find it. They've changed it. And I got to find it on there how much I've made to this point. But anyways, many prosperous sales to you. Thank you.